Fridays mean unplugged on 702. Summer winning, platinum selling singer, songwriter, and social entrepreneur Barita joins us. Barita. <laughs> Finally, how are you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm so happy to be with you in this space because we've been together in other spaces. Yeah, yeah. And now we get to talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited about about just your growth and you know, I I I recall exactly when you started out and I saw you performing Tando Lue to, yeah. and I remember at the time we had convinced you to do an Oliver uh, uh, an, another song and you always went with Oliver Mtugudi yeah, of yeah, course yeah. yeah yeah and and I just think you have been flourishing and growing so beautifully musically thank you so lots of love for you thank but you. you have some new music out since the last time you've been here tell us all about it yes yeah, so i've got a new single out it's called peace of mind it came out um, a couple of weeks back it's really the first song i've released since um i would say my last album songs in the key of love and that was in 2020 so I am back. <laughs> it's basically my, hi guys, I am back single. I, I never left. I'm still here. I never <laughs> left. <laughs> do, do you think the, the, the lockdown helped you be more creative? I mean, f- um, for you as a singer, song writer who basically lives with your guitar, was that a frustrating period or was that a period of like, finally, I can hear myself think and write and work? I think it was frustrating, you know, from the artist side of things, from the work that needed to happen. Um, But I think for me, the last couple of years have really been about growing spiritually and growing internally, because that's the actual work that makes you as a creative um, showcase your work better. So, you know, I know you know me from like Africa Fade days (laughs) back in the day. So when you say that my music continues to grow and how I approach it, I think a lot of it has to do with the internal work Mm. that goes in. And, you know, when they say an artist needs time to sit around and do nothing. Yes. (laughs) That thing is true because you need to gather your thoughts. You need to turn inward to really reflect on yourself. And that's what really my new single peace of mind is about it's about me taking that time to reflect on a situation that I've been going through and ultimately choosing peace for myself because I think you can only do that for yourself no one else can choose peace or happiness or joy and it is also an inside job it's not Mm. it's not an outside job do you find that with the type of uh, songs that you've been doing I mean you had a whole project called you know songs in the key, key of love yeah do you find that the songs have different meanings as you evolve into different versions of yourself absolutely absolutely um, there are songs that when I first wrote um, like I'll use an example of one of my most popular songs Tandoluetu when I first wrote Tandoluetu which I didn't write alone I co-wrote with a friend Busisi Smith. the song was really about her experience um, I had come up with the, you know, the music bed and, and some of the words, but I hadn't really experienced heartbreak at such a level. Yes. Now, when I perform the song, the past couple of years, as things have happened, you know, mm-hmm. it, it's a bit different. There's also, you know, cute songs like Ngeli Kiss, where I'm just asking for a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so I find that when I first wrote the song, it was just, you know, playing around. But sometimes it gets sensual, it, you know, the song changes. When I do shows, literally, I remember I did a festival and this one lady comes to me and says, When I bear it, oh, stop to me, oh, to Kelly kiss. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, the music, you know, it changes shape yes. and form. And that's the exciting part about it. Have you found that um, your music has been prophetic for you? Because I, th- I think a lot of songwriters write about things that they're experiencing or some th- somebody close to them is experiencing. But have you ever, after you've written a song, you perf- you're like, oh, it has like, oh, this was quite prophetic, something I wrote that I thought was imagination, but it's real. You know what? Like, I even get scared now writing songs. I was in the studio just two days ago with someone, with an artist, and they're like, your, your songs are too sad right now. And I'm like, 
I'm scared <laughs> that if I'm writing sad songs, I'm calling upon the yes. you know the sadness on myself. But I think um, over the years there are songs that when I look back on, there's a song called "Gwechule Mama" from my first album. I wrote it just about growing up as a woman and some of the experiences I've ha- I've had that have made me understand my mother's choices and decisions. Mm. Because I think when you're a teenager, there's a time when you're young, or you're like me, I'll never do that. We judge I'll never them, let. Hey? <laughs> someone treat me like that mm. I'll never you know then a couple years later you're like wow I actually just made you know the same decisions that I thought I would never make or I'd never do mm-hmm. so uh, I I absolutely love that um, you know as a performer you wrote your own songs yeah. what are your feelings about performing songs that you were never part of the songwriting process or you've never been through that at all as in like you didn't touch a lyric you were given the chord progression you were given the melody you were given the lyrics and you sang it is that something you've ever done so um, it depends on the type of artist I'm a singer songwriter mm. so a lot of the songs I write myself and I don't call, I don't like intend to do it the songs come when mm. it's time for them to come um, and when I'm in the studio I contribute in that way there are artists that don't and mm. it, it works for them I think as artists and as people with who have different purposes um, I find my purpose through my music is soothing calming and healing because that's what mm. I get a lot a lot of people say your music makes me feel good it makes mm. me feel soothed it makes me feel calm whereas somebody else the act is purely a performance based act you know where even if if you haven't been through a situation you know how to pull just like an actor you know how to yes. pull all the different emotions so for me i really have to search search within myself when i write the music it's an inside job yes yes yeah. and i think um i mean not it isn't anything less of other artists that don't write their own songs but i do think that the journey is completely different when you know where you were when you wrote certain lyrics yeah. as opposed to being like you said you're almost taking on a role and you're like okay this character was heartbroken she was going through this I'm gonna imagine what that might have felt like yeah, yeah. so when I perform the song I'm convincing people versus you being like yay <laughs> yay <laughs> I remember the tough times I remember the yeah. good times as yeah. well that moments where you know all the emotions come I think when you're playing when I'm playing the music when I'm I'm sitting alone and it's a gift it's been 11 years now and it's it's a gift that keeps giving what would you you like um, listeners to experience when they listen to your music or come to your show to watch you performing? For me, it's always a feeling of home, a feeling of joy, a feeling of happiness. You know, I do feel like as people, we go through a lot. And sometimes within that three minutes of a song, I can take you to a place that you hadn't been in a while. Mm. You know, whether it's remembering an old lover yes. or it's remembering uko, uko, uko. If I can, If I can transport you to a, a world that's familiar, that's home to you, you know, wherever home is for you. Because I try and, and tap into home for me when I perform the music. I am so excited to hear you perform. Find her on Instagram, Barita Afro Soul, so that you can find out where she is performing next. When we come back from the break, make sure you're logged in on Facebook. Go to our 702 page so you can see the performance streamed live. She is live and in studio. Head over to our Facebook page, 702, so you can watch what's happening in the studio because she plays for herself on the guitar. Ladies and gentlemen, Barita. Dandin um fana O mohle Igamala ke Tandulwe tu Vendim tanda Enditanda 
Seven or two, I hope you're having a good time. Spoken, 
Motoli Esan Dia titeg Dia lok Nyanyanung uang Ngatan di kole song that I'm going to play for you is a song called Peace of Mind, which is my latest single. I'm going to take the guitar and just throw it away and put my dancing shoes on very quickly for this one, because it's Friday and we're keeping it light. Peace of Mind, 702. This time I thought you were the one All of this time I thought you were the one Built a sand castle and made you the king of the heat Built a sand castle and made you the
702. I hope you're having a wonderful time, wherever you are. I hope you're at peace and you've got peace of mind, wherever you are. of Barita Live in studio. Oh, her latest single, Peace of Mind. Go and get it. You can find her on the socials, Barita Afro Soul. Thank you so much for joining us on 702 Afternoons this week. It's been a beautiful one. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. It's just after three o'clock. Fridays mean unplugged on 702.